In this lesson, you'll learn how to use an API demos worksheet to locate API functions and code you can use to seed development of your own Android applications. With over 300 function demos and many tens of thousands of lines of code, the API Demos app can be hard to navigate to find a feature you're looking for. And it's also a challenge to find the source code associated with a given feature. To help deal with this complexity, I've developed an Excel worksheet shown here on the left, which is included in the working files for the course. It details all the levels of demo organization and shows how each demo relates to the app Java source code. Let's take a look at how it's organized. First, each demo screen is represented by an entry in the worksheet. So, for example, we see our Bouncing Balls demo on line 6. There are four columns, Home Screen Primary Group, Secondary Group, Tertiary or Third Group, Demo Name, and Java File Name. All the entries have at least a home screen primary group name, demo name, and Java file name. Some have an additional secondary group category, and some even have a third, as we see down here. In some cases, the Java file name is similar to or the same as the demo name. In some cases, it's very different. For example, if we look down in the views entries, Starting in line 175, we have a Java file name of animation1 instead of something like the demo name shake. In most cases, the primary group name is the same as the fifth level of the source folder name. For example, the accessibility group is located in the com.example.android.apis.accessibility folder here in the file structure. And there are a small number of exceptions. I've noted these in the Java file name column. For example, in line 106, the graphics cube file is located in the graphics.cube folder. Now down at the views entries, let's look at the animation views to show you two levels of grouping. In the emulator, click on views. We do this because we're looking at a view animation, not the group of animations located in the animation primary category. So we've clicked on views, and we see the next levels of organization. Each of these could be another organization group or a demo itself. So let's click on animation, and we see four names. If we click on 3D transition, we see the demo itself. It looks like another group, but it's the actual demo. If we click on Leon, we see a photo. Click on the photo, we go back again to the list. We click on Livermore, see another photo, and so forth. In the worksheet, notice the missing tertiary or third level of organization for the animation group of view demos. We went straight from the secondary group to the demo itself. Now let's go down to line 210 where we see entries that have all three levels of groupings. So let's go back to the demo app and look at views, layouts, baseline, and bottom. And we see a demo of buttons at the bottom of the screen. Now let's go back to this level here. See these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've omitted them from the demo name column because they would mess up sorting for the column. See the entry at line 210 for the bottom example we've just looked at. The Java file name is baseline2. And now over to Eclipse, and we'll look at the view folder. And here's the baseline2 file. If we open it, I have it open here, we see it's very simple. It sets the content view using the baseline 2 XML file. And we can go down and find the baseline 2 XML file here in layouts. I have it opened up over here. And if we click on the graphic layout tab, we see the graphic version and the XML version showing the actual XML. Now let's go back to the worksheet. I told you that there were over 300 functions demonstrated in the app. We can scroll down to the end to verify that number. 
uh, we see that there are 303. Actually, it's 302, given that we have a header row. How the heck can we hope to find the right code given all these possibilities? There are a few different approaches. First, after we've gone through an examination of each of the primary groups of demos in the following chapters, you'll have a better feel for what's included in each group. So, you might remember, for example, our bouncing balls demo, and that it's included in the animation primary group. But with over 300 entries, it's unlikely that you can remember all of them. I know I can't. So, here are some other ways to find demo app functions. First, there's sorting. To use that, first click in the upper left of the spreadsheet to select all the cells. Next, click on the data sort button. Within that window, click to check that your data has headers, which I have clicked there. And you see our header names off to the left. And currently, the data is sorted by the first four columns in their order. But let's say we want to do a sort on just the demo name so that we can get all the entries listed just by the demo name. So we can delete all but the demo name and click OK. So now we have a list that's sorted by the demo name. Now let's go back to the sort that we had. So we click on the upper left, click Sort. I'm going to add back levels. I'm going to sort by primary home screen, then secondary group, tertiary group, and finally demo name. Click OK. So I've gone back to the original sort that we had sorted by the first four columns. And another way to sift through the demos is by using the filter capability. We click on Data, Filter, and we see some drop down buttons appear. Now let's click on the demo name drop down and we can add some text. Let's add the word custom and click OK. And it now shows the entries that have the word custom in the demo name. And if I click the filter button again, we go back to our original view. So why bother with the worksheet? Why not just use the API demo directly? The reason is that there is no overview of the entire contents or sorting or filtering capability built into it. And it's difficult to impossible to hold the entire organization with its three levels of grouping in your head. The worksheet is a sort of map to facilitate getting to the right code for the task at hand. That's our lesson on the worksheet, and we'll use it continually as we work through each group of API demo functions. And one additional comment, as Google develops new Android releases and adds to the API demos, you might want to update the worksheet to keep it current.